In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the battery on your MacBook Pro late 2013 model with Retina display. This is a seven year old laptop, so the battery is not that good, but a liquid was spilled on it last week accidentally and the battery totally died on me. Luckily, the MacBook Pro is working properly other problems other than this battery and as you can see when I click on the battery it says service recommended and battery is not charging so I look it up in the Apple website and it says they're gonna charge you $200 for replacing the battery since this is an old laptop I don't wanna pay that much just for replacing the battery so I'm just gonna do it myself so this is the battery that we will be using I bought it at Amazon for less than 50 bucks. It comes with the tools, but instead of using those tools, I'm just gonna use my own tools, which I also bought at Amazon for like 13 bucks. So as you can see, it's complete with all the other tools you can use for other smartphone or other iPads or laptops. So it's, for me, I just prepare to use this uh, fancy tool then I will use the uh, adhesive remover also um, for the old battery so I also have the syringe just in case I need to use it on the uh, tight spots right and then I also have the floss well I just saw some videos there use the floss to um, work through the uh, adhesive removal so let's see I will just combine all the techniques and I'm gonna use also the card to work through the adhesive removal so now that we're ready to replace the battery we need to uh, open the back cover of the MacBook Pro uh, we need to unscrew this 10 1.2 millimeter pentagon screws and then those two are gonna be shorter than the others so you need to separate this two and then I'm gonna use my 1.2 millimeter pentalog screwdriver Backside. You can see there's a battery that died on me and then first thing you need to do is disconnect this one using your charger since this is your battery you gotta be careful I'm working on this so and then so some models I saw that they have screws here this one has rubber boots on it that you just can pull to remove it. Next is removing this three um, torque screw on the speaker, left and right. You're gonna be using T5 screwdriver. Make sure you don't over flex this wires. Yeah. Be careful with that. And then another two T5 screws to be removed on the right side. So make sure that you also set the or remember the screws this is shorter and this is the one coming from this bottom here and the bottom side on the other side so this one you gotta be careful there's more there okay. 
and then the battery controller there's another T5 screw to attach the to the Now is the fun part. We need to take this stubborn batteries off this MacBook Pro using the card. We need to be careful. We need to work side by side. the batteries, old batteries are taken off. We need to clean off those uh, remaining adhesives here using the same thing, the glue gun remover, adhesive remover. So you can use the card. This is gonna be helpful for you. All the adhesives are clear and the uh, MacBook is dry as we left it to dry for a bit. It's now time to place our new battery. So remove this bit. the battery make sure this place in it put your speakers back the order of your screws is gonna be medium here long here and short here and same on the other side.
but it's time to turn on the MacBook. No power cable. We're adding on new batteries. Make sure it's gonna be charging. Yep, yeah, there you go. After the charger indicator turns clean, let it connect it for two hours before you turn on your power. Now, as you turn on the power of the MacBook, you can see here it's 100% charge. Now it's time to disconnect your charger. Once your power cable is disconnected, just leave your computer on until the battery is fully discharged. So you can use your computer while you're trying to discharge your battery. So now that the battery is fully discharged, the computer will completely shut down by itself. And you have to leave it uh, discharged for another five hours or so before you can plug in the charger again. I'm gonna reconnect my power cable. And now that the MacBook is back on, it's now gonna charge. And while it's charging, you can use it as normal. And now is the time to set your battery uh, levels back to where they were before you did the shutdown. So if you find this um, video helpful, Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hope to see you soon on the next video. Bye now.